education. Number 10, be short-sighted. Now, I also, ref the real purpose of this is keep your thoughts within sight of the water tower. I don't, you guys don't have a water tower, you're using a hill, but in many communities, the water tower is in the middle of town. It's like a beacon, an icon, they fill it up with water, right? So I say keep your thoughts within sight of the water tower if you want to kill your community. And the idea came to me because when I was newly elected, it was April, it was a by-election. I was traveling all over working on rural development. In October, I stopped to see my folks. I mean, I was single, so I lived in my car. I stopped in to see my folks, and my folks said, son, you look tired. You've got to get a break. You need a, holiday, a Christmas holiday. I said, yeah, okay, I'll work on it. And they said, if you don't find a holiday, you're going to come with us to Mexico. Well, nothing more than a 29-year-old boy wants is to go to Mexico with his mom and dad. <laughs> but I forgot. So I showed up at Christmas, and they gave me an envelope with a ticket to Mexico. And the bill. They weren't paying for it. They just said I was going. <laughs> but I thought, hey, I love my folks. They're young. This will be great. All their friends are going. This will be fun. So we went to Mexico for a week. And we had a blast. Except one guy. One of my dad's friends. He hated it. He hated the Mexican sun. He hated the Mexican water. He hated the Mexican beach. He hated the Mexican beer. He hated the Mexican food. He hated the Mexican language. He hated the Mexicans. He hated everything about it. And I asked my dad, why did he come if he hates it so much? And my dad said, you've got to understand, son, he's never been out of sight of the water tower. And I can suddenly picture family in the back. He's going off to the city, driving down the rear view Oh, can't see the water tower. Turn around and go home. That's as far as he went. <laughs> Now, Ron makes me tell everyone that that's exactly the way he was, but now he loves traveling because he's been farther away from the water tower and has more experiences. But many of our communities think within sight of the water tower. They keep their thoughts there. Have you ever been to a community, sorry, community meeting, a community function, and someone actually thinks this is a legitimate argument, right? You present an idea, and their argument against it is, we've never tried that before. Have you ever heard that before? People use it all the time, and it's, it's crazy. In fact, my, uh, Einstein describes that finds insanity as doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results every time. But that's what we do all the time. We don't have to do that. In fact, when I was into a year, there was this exchange program for MLAs, for elected officials, and I got to go to Germany. I went to Germany and I, I spent two weeks there meeting with German officials and German people and I discovered that there was an author, a German, who came over and went up and down the continental divide because he loved the mountains, he was infatuated by them. He wrote westerns about cowboys, about Indians, about hunting, about fishing. He actually lived in the mountains. He went home, he wrote at least seven novels that I found in, a, in German language and people loved them. They have western parties to celebrate western culture. What we have, they took me to one of these Western parties when I was there. They had these hats that I swore they just take the, took the string and the whistle off of. <laughs> they, I got there and they're wearing these shaps, little, they weren't real shaps, they're just little, I, I wasn't sure what party they'd taken me to. <laughs> but it turned out they were just really appreciative of Western culture. They asked questions about why can't we get a, a, an Indian, a First Nations, a, someone to, to put authentic um, Indian script on jeans. Like, Embroider it in. Because we pay 50 pounds for jeans, but people pay 500 pounds for jeans because there's such an appreciation. They, they want to go camping and hunting and fishing, but most of the time they don't know we exist. They know we're here, but they don't know where to go. They don't hop on a plane and just try it out. And we don't market and advertise anything along the continental divide to 87 million German people that are infatuated with our culture. But as long as we don't think outside the water tower and ignore the fact that there's 87 million people there that would love to spend money, then we can keep doing what we've always done. And we'll always get what we've always got. And we will do exactly what Einstein said. We will go insane as communities.